It almost looks like a new extreme sport, Mule Deer Rodeo, coming to reality TV soon. But it's not. It's science, wildlife biology. University of Wyoming researchers are chasing and catching these deer in order to learn more about them and their migrations. You ready? Some of these deer migrate as much as 150 miles, but new housing or gas drilling could block their path. To protect these migration routes, scientists need to know more about them in detail, exactly where the deer go, what they eat, how healthy they are. That's why a team of scientists and volunteers have gathered in Wyoming's Red Desert. Leading Ando Forest Service. Brett Jessmeyer, co-op unit. We've got 24 animals to catch today off the mesa here. Uh, we need uh, more than 20 mils of blood. Sort of the key component we're doing right now is assessing the nutritional condition, nutritional status of these animals as they're coming off the summer range and then entering into winter. Kevin Monteith, a wildlife biologist, briefs the crew. They work in teams of four. Other than that, let's be safe. Take care of the animals, of course, and we'll have a good day, huh? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. All right. To the deer, it may seem like being abducted by aliens, but every bit of information is crucial. GPS records for movement. Okay. I expect it to be loose right now. I'm just yeah. sort of, you don't have to take it off then, is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Blood samples for metabolism. Fecal samples for diet. Whiskers for genetics. 161. 1.75 for the body condition score. Ultrasound for body fat. And for deer, the more the better. And an anesthetic before pulling a tooth to test for age. So she's 13 and a half. See her teeth are pretty much gone. She's a bit special to us. She's not long for this world, actually, so we're excited to see her every time we can. All right, Mama. I'll see you again. This deer has no clue what just happened. But her data could be what stops a housing development or moves a gas well. So the migration routes she follows will stay open for her offspring and their offspring for generations to come.